All right, let's get started. Today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the series, How to Double Your Income. If you're interested in learning about various strategies centered around the whole concept of doubling your income, and let's face it, everybody you talk to wants to double their income. They're an idiot if they don't want to. But not everybody knows how to. They just say they want to, but they don't want to implement the strategy. So if you're not one of those people and you're someone that's like, you know what? I don't mind some free tips from time to time. Then this is the channel for you. Just subscribe to the channel and let's get rocking and rolling. So today I'm going to be focusing on this book. Uh, one scenario out of this book, because this is a huge, huge resource that you should use. If you don't have this book in your library, you need to buy it. So what is the 80-20 principle? Let me just read to you the definition. The 80-20 principle asserts that a minority of causes, inputs, or effort usually lead to a majority of the results, outputs, or rewards. Taken literally, this means that, for example, 80% of what you achieve in your job comes from 20% of the time spent. Thus, for all practical purposes, four-fifths of the effort, a dominant part of it, is largely irrelevant. This is contrary to what people normally expect. So let's talk about that in this video. I'm going to draw a little diagram. You might be wondering, what does this look like? What does this mean? This technical diagram that you are drawing. Well, it's actually inputs and outputs. So according to the book, the 80-20 principle, inputs represents 20%. So 20% of your inputs will equal 80% of your outputs. So what does this mean? Please, Shane, translate this, oh, wise one. I will do that. Let's just say, for example, and I'll relate this to doubling your income. If you have a living room, like I do, you're going to be spending 80% of your time and 20% of this space. 20% of this space, I should say. So this is your whole main floor of your house. 80% is going to be spent here. And where is here? This could be the TV room, the living room, which is where we watch our TV. We watch baseball, all kinds of stuff. And the majority takes place right there. If we eat, it's only going to be for like 15 or 20 minutes. But my wife will knit. She'll read books. She'll listen to audio podcasts. She'll uh, play solitaire, whatever, on her phone while she's watching the Blue Jays game. I'll do the same except for the knitting and the crocheting and all that kind of stuff. I don't do any of that stuff. But I will listen to audio books or I'll read. And I'll watch baseball, hockey, whatever. So... Um, so how do you translate that into business? Into business. How do we make money? Shane, I just want to come to your channel to watch you. I want to learn how to make money. That's all I want to do. I just want to double my income. Don't ask me why I'm trying to imitate Arnold. But anyways, how to double your in income. Let's just say you have a business where you have salespeople you ever wonder why the majority of salespeople are men you ever thought about that closers all that kind of stuff like is it because women don't like selling on the phone just a just a little snapshot if you were to just go right across in sales you're gonna see that the majority are men obviously if it's makeup or whatever it's probably gonna be flipped just a side note there. 
I'm just, I, I, I wish there were more women in sales. I really do, especially when it comes to uh, selling online, if it's products, services, coaching, mastermind groups, all that kind of stuff. I just wish there, there were more women. That's all, because they can, they can show empathy. They could relate to where people are at. If somebody's financially strapped or whatever, they could relate. But there's too many guys that are just like, hey, dude, what do you have to do in order for you to get the keys to the kingdom and whatever it is, right? Like, anyways, that's, that's a whole other video. So, so, so let's just say, for example, you have 12 salespeople. Four, according to the book, the good book, 80-20 principle, four salespeople are going to be rock stars. rock stars, all right? And then eight of those are people that are going to be a dead beat. They're going to be a stupido. Dead beats. Idiosos. I don't speak Italian, but it just kind of sounded good. Rock stars. And out of here, you're going to have one superstar. One superstar. And this guy avoids everyone else. He avoids the water coolers like the plague. So who would be a superstar? This would be like a Marco Cortese. This would be like a Jeremy Miner. Matt Ryder. Taylor Welch, Peyton Welch, Grant Cardone, although he doesn't do sales anymore. Dan Locke doesn't do sales anymore. But you need a superstar in every organization. So these four rock stars are going to be responsible for 80% of their revenue coming in. Revenue. And these deadbeats are going to be responsible for 20% of the revenue. So what do you do? You fire these jerks? Nope, can't do it. Why? Why, Shane? Why can't we fire them? Because you're always going to have deadbeats. Always. Always, always, always. You're not going to get away from it. You're not. So... Think about this for a second. If you had your manager spend 50% with these 10 people and spend 50% with these 10 people, exactly half their time, you're going to get two people that are going to be rock stars. And same thing over here. You're going to get two people that are rock stars. And one or one, you don't know which one, there could be a superstar in there. Chances are not, but these are rock stars. So these two people will help you be responsible for bringing in 80% of your revenue. The rest are deadbeats, but you're always going to have them. It doesn't matter how much you train them. So how does that help you to double your income? Well, what you do is you look at the rock stars. Rock of stars. And you mimic them. You mimic what works. And you drop what doesn't. It doesn't look like it's spelled right, but I think it is. You think so. So you mimic the rock stars and you transfer the things that work to the average salespeople. But you don't spend, you don't take your sales manager. You don't make them spend average. You don't make them spend 80% of their time trying to get these deadbeats to be a rock star because it, it'll never happen. You can get them a little bit better, but because you're pushing them to be rock star status and that's not who they are, it's not what they're about, they will quit. They'll say, this is too hard. They'll quit for whatever reason. 
So you got to train them, but I would suggest you spend 20% of your time on the average Joes. And then your sales managers should spend 80% of their time with the rock stars, helping them not to get distracted, you know, being a support, helping them get assist. Maybe they need an assistant or whatever it is. They shouldn't be responding to emails. I shouldn't say that because maybe that was part of the things that helped them become a rock star. But what you need to do is you need to look at the rock stars. You need to look at them and go, okay, what are they doing right on a weekly basis? What are some of the things that they're doing right? And you put them into little boxes. And maybe you track them for two weeks. And you go, you know what? They spend an average of four hours a day on the phone. Just every every day, four hours. And maybe they they come in at 6 a.m. And maybe they leave at 6 p.m. And maybe they work 12 hours a day. I don't know. Maybe they do a little bit of uh, research on the client before they jump on the call. Maybe they have a script. Maybe they, uh, they get a good night's sleep. The night before uh, maybe they um, they just have a good personality personality you know maybe they they lift weights or they work out whatever it is um, maybe they don't take as many coffee breaks or whatever I just say breaks everybody needs a break but maybe they don't take as many breaks maybe they drink a ton of water who knows what it is, but what your job as a sales manager would be to grab some of these elements each week and then transfer them over to the average salespeople without interfering with them. Like, let them be rock stars, continue to help them be rock stars, promote them, whatever it is. The last thing you want to do is. Take a rock star and make them into a manager or a team leader. Why? Because that's not what got them to rock star status. What what you'll find, what will happen is they'll they'll become a manager and you're gonna take a hit on the sales. Instead, what you need to do is you need to focus on replacing these rock stars by building up a some of the average guys, because there's probably going to be one out of eight has the potential of being a rock star. So you've groomed them to be a rock star so that eventually this person could be a manager. But you don't just move them out of that position and get a hit. So the reason why I bring this up is it relates also to people at home. If you have your own business like I do. One of the things that I focused on or am focusing on this month is I have a mastermind group and the mastermind group is once every other week and it's $47. There's no gotchas, just what it is. So what I do is I provide value ahead of time by sharing content on this YouTube channel. And my goal is over the next 30 days is to each day share a different tactic, a different strategy in order to help you double your income. And if you're thinking, man, this is so much information. I like the little bits here and there, but I need a concentrated dose, a concentrated effort. That's why you need to join my mastermind because we have a bunch of people on the mastermind going through the same problem as you. And you can see how they're overcoming it. And it's a great synergy. The nice thing about this is there's no gotchas. I don't have any upsells or anything like that. It is worth more than $47. But the nice thing is, is it's per month. So once per month. Cancel at any time. Why is the phone ring? Okay, 
to go in here. So you can cancel at any time. So if you decided in the summer you're you're going to visit someone in Australia, you can cancel your membership. It's not a problem. No penalties, just send me an email and say, I'm out. That's it. But once we get 20, I'm raising the price on that because I know how much value that we put into the mastermind and it'll probably go up to 147. Oops. Or 197, something like that. Won't be right away. But you got time. There's no rush. There's no rush. I'm not putting pressure on you. But if you like what you see on this channel, that's what we're going to be focusing on. And like I said, it's every other week. So we give you homework. We help you uh, build a website. We help you build a YouTube channel. We link everything together so you can do exactly what I'm doing. I get all my leads from YouTube. I don't spend time on uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Periscope, Tumblr, MySpace, uh, all that other stuff that's non-existent. It's just going to fade away. Twitter. You can go on there. You could use that as a resource after you've built everything. But I wouldn't go wasting my time on there before. Like you should be, you should have your own product or service to sell. And you should have a way of getting those leads to your website. And this is what I do with my YouTube channel. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. If it makes sense to you, subscribe. At least subscribe to my channel. Click on that little bell icon. That way, anytime I make a video, which is pretty much every day, um, you'll be notified. And then also, if you want to try out our mastermind group, um, try it out for $47. Uh, there is a three-day cooling off period. So if you decide to buy it right now and three days from now, you're like, ah, change my mind. No problem. Just email me refund uh, but if you if you like it the goal is to have you stick around inside the membership because we're going to provide a lot of value for you that's it thanks for watching see you in another video bye for now